Hi everyone, this is Krishna Vandanapu, a business applications MVP. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, we will learn the new feature Power BI integration with SharePoint. In this video, we will learn how to create a Power BI report with new integrated feature. Also, how to publish to the audience. Along with that, what are all the new features, limitations and upcoming features in this integrated feature. I want to walk you through the output before we learn how to create and publish to the audience. Click on integrate Power BI select the budget details this is a report we are going to create as part of this video in this i have my metrics as part of month and budget amount spent category as per the budget and spent amount and the budget amount each and every month with various spent amount values a donut pie chart to show the spent amount as per the state for the selected country and here state value as a bubble with respect to the spent amount last but not least this is a table for the selected country and the selected state let us see how it works now if i select india it will filter all the metrics related to india see the beauty it clearly shows all the states of india now if i just say assam it further drill down my map to the state assam when i uncheck it just comes out and if I say Madhya Pradesh it automatically shows the Madhya Pradesh of the map and also shows you the exact amount what are all the various numbers for that state this is the report we will be creating as part of this video if you have not yet subscribed to my channel this is the best time to subscribe go ahead and subscribe while we are learning the new concepts I have created a SharePoint list called country budget details. In this, I have created country, state and the budget allocated and month spent amount for each and every month against uh, various categories. Now I need to create a Power BI report to present it to the management. Earlier we used to go onto Power BI and create the report. Now with this new integrated feature released by Microsoft in June 2021, we can simply generate a report by clicking on Power BI visualize the list. The time you click on the list, it will start spinning a new report with various slicers and metrics as part of the Power BI report. When you see here, I have not done anything. However, it added three different slicers and with various metrics in that we can see all the columns of my list onto right hand side and if i want to add one more metric as part of my slicers i can just select that and it automatically adds into the slicers and it will get associated with my report in just a click if you want to change the visualization of any of these parameters you can go ahead and click on edit to customize the report further. When you click on edit, it clearly shows that when you switch to edit mode, you will lose the access to summarize pane, which means that you will not be able to see this click and unclick to add and remove the new metrics as part of the report. However, we want to change the visualization of these metrics. So go ahead and click on continue. When you click on continue, you will get an option to select various visualizations for each and every metric. Now, if I want to just change this from a bar chart to pie chart, I can just select that, click on pie chart. And once you click on the pie chart, you can just see how the pie chart is generated. What is the legend? Spent category is the legend and value is getting some by the budget and if you want to change the legend name to see properly you can go to the format and select the legend and just change the legend name as category so it automatically come through now i don't want this country metric here so let me go ahead and delete this the next element is i want to change the value from budget to spent 
amount. Now just select and drag and drop, remove the budget. So it generates the pie chart with category against the spent amount. I want to change this with budget and spent amount for each and every country. So to get that, First thing is I want to add my country name as part of access and then change this one to clustered column chart under value. I want to add spent amount also so that I will know what is my allocated budget and what is my spent amount per country. The next one is I want to change this visualization to show each and every state with the spent amount. Select the visualization as tree map and then group by with the state name and value is not the country value rather I want to show the spent amount value. This will show me each and every state for the selected country along with the amount spent on that state. The next one is the spent category. This one shows the entire spent category with the allocated budget. This one I want to summarize with the donut visualization with the spent budget. Now this one is my spent category followed by the value as spent amount. So here also I want to pull down the legend name from spent category to simply category so that I can see my legend clearly. Last but not least here this one I want to change as a map so that I know which part of the world the data is spinning out. I'll change it to map and now the metrics are legend. I want to make it as state name and followed by the size I want to specify as spent amount so that depending on the spent amount the bubble size will show up. If you notice here this entire report I was able to build within just five minutes. Now that we know how to create the report, now I'll go ahead and save my Power BI report with a specific name so that it will be easily readable to my management. Budget details 2021. Remember when I publish this as a report, whoever have access on the list will be able to see all the data. So ensure that when you publish this report, we have the required targeted audience on the list. When I click on publish, it will publish this report immediately onto my SharePoint list. Now if I go back to my SharePoint list, refresh under integrate feature, I can see my newly created Power BI report with the name as budget details 2021. Now that we publish the report, when I change the data, will I be able to see the stats immediately? Unfortunately, no, because this report is not works under direct query. As per Microsoft update, this report will get auto refresh on every three hours. How does my end user be able to render this report? Whoever has access to this list will be able to render the Power BI report. However, if they want to edit and republish back to SharePoint list, they require Power BI Pro license. If I don't want this report, what should I do? The maker of this report can delete this report at any point of time so that all the users who have access to this report will lose the access on that report as and when this report is deleted. The last but not least is I don't want to enable this option to everybody in my organization. Is there a way to disable this feature? Absolutely, it can be disabled at Power BI Admin Center. If you log on to Power BI Admin Portal under Integration Settings, expand integration with SharePoint and Microsoft List. If you disable this within 15 minutes, that feature will be turned off for the entire organization. If you want to disable this to a particular set of people, you can create a specific security group and provide that security group here and say apply. It will be available for the entire organization 
except for this specific group or if you want to enable to a specific security group you can do that by providing a security group with all the members adding to that security group so it will be enabled to only that specific group of people next comes the limitations as of today this power bi report cannot support complex columns like people picker lookup image columns are not at supported in this report generation where does this power bi report will get saved will it save into a workspace no though you go on to the workspace you will not be able to see this report under any workspace which you have access on to as of today we would not be able to navigate on to workspace i hope you enjoyed watching this video and learn how to create a power bi report on sharepoint list within no time and publish to entire audience here is my contact information if you have any questions add into comments if you like the video hit like and subscribe to my youtube channel for all future notifications have a nice day thank you